Welcome to Chef John Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to make curried chili potatoes. It's a really cool recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to start by throwing our potatoes into a hot wok. And we're going to caramelize these potatoes on all sides. I don't like to add salt and pepper to the potatoes this time because the salt will pull moisture at the outside of potatoes and cause them to be soggy. So I do not season the potatoes this time. I just allow them to fry and get nice and crispy. Once they're crispy, I pull it out, add some more oil, allow the wok to get hot, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chilies. I'm using banana peppers, poblanos, and jalapenos today. Uh, you can add serranos or uh, any other chili that you'd like, fresh chili. You're gonna allow the chilies to caramelize well, and get nice and roasted. The next step would be to add red onion and allow it to caramelize. Once the onion starts to get some color, we can go ahead and mix that together with the peppers. Most important thing is you want to make sure the wok stays hot all the time. So don't play with your food too much. Allow it to do some work before you mess with it. So we're adding just a touch more oil here. Let that get hot again. Then we're gonna add our fresh chopped garlic and fresh ginger. And then we're gonna fry the garlic and ginger in the oil as best we can. Before we mix it in with our vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes back. Allow the potatoes to start to get crispy again before we mix it back with our vegetables. We're then gonna go ahead and season it with our curry spice blend and some garlic powder. Gonna mix that up. And then it's gonna be seasoned with soy sauce. Uh, sweet soy sauce and shaozing. There goes the shaozing. And next, we're going to drizzle sweet soy sauce over the whole thing. And continue to cook that in the wok and allow all that to caramelize together. This dish is great for roasted pork, roast chicken, uh, or anything other protein you like to play with it. Uh, I think it goes great with my roasted Cornish game hen. So check that video out next.